Pretty much everyone in crypto is distracted by and wasting time on things completely out of their control that is hurting their ability to achieve financial freedom. The main things people are focusing on, like what's the price going to be tomorrow? How low can the price go? Which altcoin project should I buy low so I can sell high later? Literally, no one knows the answer to these questions. And quite frankly, these questions do not matter at all. Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to explore how we can take this once in a lifetime opportunity to get into powerful positions during this bear market while everyone else is looking the other way. We are all going to have a eureka moment together before the end of this video that will have our brains exploding with ideas on how to create our own unique paths to wealth and prosperity in this industry. And this may surprise you, but it has nothing to do with cryptocurrencies, yet everything to do with digital assets on the blockchain. This video is brought to us by Afani, a mobile phone security service that guarantees 100% protection against SIM swapping. More on them in a bit. Awesome. Let's learn why we should stop trying to buy cryptos to sell to someone else at a higher price and start actually investing in value creation that will change our lives and the world forever. Here's the cold hard truth about crypto that we can no longer ignore. There are literally over 20,000 different cryptocurrencies and over 98% of them are going to be worthless. Why? Because even though some or even a lot of these projects sound like great ideas, there is literally no reason for a corresponding cryptocurrency or token to exist for each and every venture. In crypto, projects create a token for the sake of a token existing. Sure, this helps projects raise funds to develop it. However, a red flag should be obvious when we ask ourselves if the token didn't exist, what product, service, value, or use is left. For over 98% of the projects out there right now, it would be nothing. Most of the money people have made in crypto markets has been by buying something and selling it to someone else at a higher price, which is not sustainable and won't be how successful digital assets and ecosystems will operate. So let's talk about the true power and implications of digital assets on blockchain technology in the hopefully not so distant future. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video where we explore different real life scenarios of how these new blockchain based ecosystems will work. So without getting into the technical aspects of blockchain, an important thing for us to stay mindful of as investors in the space is that blockchain allows for the creation of a value network, an infrastructure most people haven't seen or realized is possible yet. And digital assets on blockchain networks will make existing activities more efficient. And digital assets on blockchain networks will make existing activities more efficient, like by taking title insurance out of the real estate transaction process, or by removing the record label aspect from the music distribution process, or possibly taking credit cards out of the picture completely. While making existing activities more efficient is great, the most exciting aspect of digital assets on blockchain is our ability to create, maintain, transfer, tokenize, realize, and leverage value in ways that have never been done before. We can create, maintain, transfer, tokenize, realize, and leverage value in the form of provenance, commissions, royalties, authenticity, ownership, utility, primary and secondary market sales, peer-to-peer -peer networks, and digital or physical access to events or people or capital. This new digital asset world is our oyster that will only be limited by our creativity and imaginations. However, it is at this time limited due to how early we are in the development phase, which is a gift for all of us here and now because we have a jumpstart on positioning ourselves for when mass adoption starts happening. Major obstacles between mass adoption and the upcoming digital asset ecosystem is user interface and custody, which involves the process of setting up and managing crypto wallets. So the digital assets we are referring to aren't cryptocurrencies. They are NFTs, which stands for non-fungible tokens. 
And before we let our minds immediately jump to JPEG profile pictures of apes being bought and sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars, a JPEG published to the blockchain in the form of an NFT is one of the most basic functions. NFTs and smart contract technology can be much more powerful and sophisticated, which we will explore by real world examples of how they could function in the future. Think back to when computers first came out. And then when the internet came into existence in the late 90s, people made statements that are laughable now just a decade later or so, like email is useless. The internet will only be used for illicit activities like drugs and adult content. Or some even said women will definitely never use the internet. Just a small sliver of techie men will mess around on it. Yeah, that's where we are now in the adoption timeline of NFTs. People saying they're useless, they will never catch on, and that women will never get involved. And what's great for us is unlike the dot-com days, the global technological infrastructure is already here due to everyone having a cell phone. This means the adoption and development curve will be much shorter for digital assets than the internet. So even though we are early, the shift to Web 3 will be much faster than the shift between Web 1 and 2. Nice. Now let's talk about the different real life scenarios that could play out with digital assets on blockchain technology. First, a quick note about Afani. People have been losing tons of money from SIM swapping attacks. So as a crypto investor, it's especially important to stay vigilant during these crazy times. Afani is a secure mobile phone service that guarantees 100% protection against SIM swaps, as well as fake towers, eavesdropping, location tracking, spam calls, spam texts, and malware. They are based in the United States, and if peace of mind knowing you will never become a victim of a SIM swap isn't amazing enough, if by some crazy chance you do become a victim of a SIM swap, your secure mobile service with Afani comes with $5 million worth of insurance coverage to protect you from any financial losses you experience from a SIM hack. And when you choose to secure your phone and financial assets with Afani, it is typically only about $10 to $30 extra per month than your regular cell phone service. All their plans come with a 100% money back guarantee for the first 60 days, so there's no risk to you for two months if you decide to give them a go. So if you want to check out Afani, scroll down to the description area below and use the link to access their correct and official site. Or feel free to use the QR code displayed on the screen. Cool. All right, let's manifest some exciting Eureka moments together about the power and implications of digital assets on blockchain networks. For these examples, it's important to think about an NFT as a complex contract that executes depending on certain parameters being met or unmet, all dictated by code that cannot be altered. And in addition to thinking of NFTs as contracts, you must think of these contracts as things you yourself can buy and sell as a digital asset. These concepts will make more sense as we explore creative uses for NFTs together. All right, so let's say a popular local lunch spot in your city has a rewards card for loyal customers that gives them special discounts, pricing, etc. And they decide they want to make a limited number of NFT versions of the rewards cards for their especially progressive customers. So they hire a graphic designer to make it look nice and start creating the NFT. Keeping in mind this NFT is a contract. Within this contract, the restaurant decides that each time the NFT is bought or sold by people, the artist gets 5% commission on each transaction. The restaurant gets 5% commission on each transaction. And whoever owns the NFT gets all of the reward perks. Also keeping in mind these NFT contracts can be bought and sold becomes an extremely interesting factor in the second part of this scenario. Imagine the graphic designer of the restaurant's NFT starts becoming a popular artist like a Banksy of sorts, and collectors take notice. A savvy early investor in art would find value in the NFT being the artist's first ever NFT artwork and would maybe pay a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars for it. Both the graphic designer and the restaurant still get their royalty payments from all the sales. And though the original value intention was to give loyal customers of the restaurants discounts and specials, now due to the notoriety of the artist and the provenance of the NFT, it's become a collector's item. If the artist continues to make waves, grow a following, and become a huge deal, that restaurant rewards NFT could potentially be bought and sold for millions in the future. And although that may sound ridiculous, consider how ticket stubs to old concerts and events are bought and sold online for a lot of money. Or consider how rookie sports cards of now celebrity athletes are bought and sold online for millions. What if a brand new band sold tickets to their first concert in the form of an NFT? And perks included a percentage of all future ticket sales for NFT holders via royalties or commission. 
Even if only 10 people bought the NFT and attended the concert, if they become the next Coldplay, those NFTs would be generating a serious amount of money. And keeping in mind these NFTs are generating income from ticket sales, maybe there is a perk that holders can attend all future concerts for free. Or maybe there is an element of profit sharing for new records. And at the end of the day, the NFT can be bought and sold, so all the perks can be easily transferred to someone else. This is due to the nature of the digital asset being on the blockchain, where the contract cannot be changed, altered, ownership is clear, and it exists on a decentralized network so it cannot be destroyed. An interesting thing that entrepreneur Gary Vaynerchuk said in a video recently is that he believes if blockchain technology and NFTs were around and established in the 70s, that the world's richest man today would be George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars. So let's think about this. Imagine all the royalties he would have received due to a system that could accurately track and instantly pay him for anything to do with Star Wars. Transactions between movie sales, toy sales, TV shows, merchandise like shirts, costumes, everything. So yes, although George Lucas receiving royalties is not a new concept, Blockchain making the process more efficient and accurate with payments going through to him instantly when transactions happen instead of through a third party is incredible. And imagine if a Star Wars fan made a fiction character and a story they created within the Star Wars universe. And imagine if they made an NFT of the character. And then the character gets featured and put into future Star Wars movies or a series. Now the fan gets royalties generated from their specific character's merchandise and deals. Here's another scenario for you. Imagine you've got a great business idea, but you don't have the capital to pursue it. And bootstrapping enough money would take years, banks won't lend to you, etc. However, you meet someone who maybe has a ton of business knowledge that could be a mentor in addition to having the capital you need. If that person wants to invest, using an NFT, you guys could create a contract that says the investor will give you $250,000 or however much you need, as well as access to their mentorship. In an exchange, the investor will receive 1% of all your future income, either in perpetuity or possibly limited to five or 10 years or so. Bam, you have the capital to pursue the business now instead of 10 years from now. You've got access to a mentor that will likely bring you 10 years ahead in business acumen from the mentorship access, and the investor takes a risk betting on your success. I mean, let's say you loaned Elton John money before he was famous in exchange for 1% of all his future income. That could be some serious cash, depending on who it is and how they end up. Circling back to Gary Vaynerchuk, he created an NFT series of tokens that give people access to his annual VCon conference, and each token comes with different levels of other access to Gary, like meeting up in more personal settings with fewer people. So his NFTs act as a structure around interactions with him as a business celebrity, while also creating a community of like-minded people that are also pursuing entrepreneurial ventures. So all of these concepts are in the cerebral realm that we can't physically touch or feel, but these NFT contracts will also allow people to buy and sell real estate with each other by transferring the deed in the form of a digital asset without a lot of third parties being involved like in today's transactions. Or imagine you want to create a children's book and you decide to launch an NFT project that gives all the token holders that invest upfront a physical copy of the book when it comes out and an NFT of each of the characters within the book. And maybe the characters get popular and are put into movies or TV shows or physical toys are made out of them. And token holders that invested in the project early get royalties on all of that. I've actually had an experience with an NFT giving me access to a physical item. I invested in a couple of the Jadu hoverboards and they partnered with a snowboard manufacturer and everyone that owned a Jadu hoverboard had the opportunity to get a physical snowboard matching the design of their hoverboard. And this was also in addition to the unique number identifier of their hoverboard being printed on the snowboard. So imagine you are a popular apparel company like Gucci and decide to release an NFT that can be used to redeem a special limited edition purse. So now you can see how NFTs or contracts on the blockchain that can have any combination of parameters can become a way for people to raise capital, invest in people, ideas, or businesses, act as gift cards, act as tickets to access real life events, give people access to mentors, celebrities, or similar, or allow people to redeem physical items, give people the opportunity to monetize themselves or their brand, allow people to create and transact value directly between one another without third parties, and verify ownership and authenticity of valuable assets. The utility of NFTs in the future will be limited to our creativity and our imaginations. So now the golden question, 
How can we prepare ourselves for these future scenarios? Well, here's the deal. We are incredibly early, so it is difficult to determine a specific step-by-step -step path because we all have different strengths, talents, experiences, ambitions, and things we care about. So the best way to proceed is by focusing on branding ourselves. Because as AI comes along, robots, the metaverse, and the possibilities of how NFTs could function in the future, having the ability to monetize our personal brand is key. There are so many unique aspects of our world and lives that many of us can be future thought leaders or contributors in many different categories of life and reality. Art, law, music, education, finance, history, cultures, food, film, photography, gaming, technology, sailing, flying, traveling, writing, reading, working out, yoga, plants, animals, clothing, design, architecture, math, physics, farming. I mean, there's a ton of aspects of life that we can be passionate about, have an interest in, and make a living off of if we can create value and monetize it to improve the world at large. NFTs and blockchain will create a syndicate for everyone and everything, all within a peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure. So first things first, in order to get yourself out there, you've got to create social media accounts. TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Consider getting a domain for a website in the future. Building our brand now will put us light years ahead of this paradigm shift. And the more we build our knowledge in the space, the more we can come up with ideas on how to become investors in this upcoming infrastructure around NFTs. Once we've got our profile set up, find like-minded people to connect with on the platforms. Explore content that resonates with you, your passions, your interests. Anything that will give you ideas on how you could position your brand and monetize your unique skills, experiences, and interests. Just taking the time to consume content around the internet and staying mindful of this idea of branding yourself and monetizing your interests as we explore these new concepts and ideas is an investment activity in and of itself. Eventually, when you feel comfortable, start putting yourself out there on these platforms to connect with people, throw ideas out there, get inspired, inspire others. It only takes having about a thousand true fans or people that transact with you to make a decent living from whatever value you can provide to the world. If a thousand people paid you $100 per year, that's $100,000. Or let's say whatever value you provide through a product, service, or combination thereof can justify a $10,000 cost. Then that's just 10 people per year. It's totally achievable for all of us. We've just got to figure out our own unique way we can provide value to the world. And if you're not someone who is interested in being the main content creator, they need a team. I have someone who helps edit my videos, another person that creates TikToks, a person that does graphic design. I have a developer working on some projects. I've got some commission work with an artist for some NFTs. Still, we will only be found and become part of teams by putting ourselves out there and meeting each other to figure out how we can all help one another. So these are the first few steps we should take, given again how early we are, which means there are a lot of unknowns. What's great though is we will be able to be part of the development. So hopefully this video gets you thinking and inspired to actively participate in building our new world together. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification to stay up to date on all the latest videos. So what do you think about the future of NFTs and digital assets? Are you inspired by the implications or overwhelmed? Are you going to start building your own unique brand to prepare for this new peer-to-peer -peer transactional infrastructure on the blockchain? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.